North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has been reaching out to South Korea out of fear the United States will launch a preemptive strike on his country, a former high-ranking official in the North Korean regime said today. According to Yonhap News, Ri Jong-ho, a North Korean defector who formerly worked for the regime was referring to Kim's recent willingness to engage with South Korea over his country's participation in the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. Last week the North Korean leader sent his smiling younger sister, Yojong, to attend the opening ceremony of the Games and invite South Korean President Moon Jae-in to Pyongyang. Ri Jong-ho spoke at a forum in Washington amid growing speculation about whether the current thaw in inter-Korean ties will lead to broader talks between the U.S. and North Korea on the regime's denuclearization. Kim Jong-un is afraid that the U.S. will launch a preventative, preemptive, strike, and he is trying to buy time to complete his nuclear and missile programs, said Ri, who worked for three decades in Office 39 of the North's ruling Workers' Party. The office is responsible for raising funds for Kim. Samuel Chamberlain at Fox News reports that Ri spoke Wednesday in the wake of a three-day visit to South Korea by Kim Yo-jong, Kim Jong-un's sister, during which she sat among world dignitaries, including Vice President Mike Pence, for the opening ceremonies at the Winter Olympics. Kim Jong-un is struggling under the strongest yet sanctions and military and diplomatic pressure, so he is trying to improve the situation by putting on a false front, said Ri, who also praised the Trump administration's push to highlight human rights abuses by the Pyongyang government, saying the issue is a powerful weapon against Kim and the most effective means to resolve the North Korean standoff. Ri's comments on sanctions appeared to strike a different tone from one he said in a Washington Post article published this past July. At that time, he described sanctions against North Korea as perfunctory. We were never in pain or hurting in our trade business because of the sanctions, he told the Post at the time. Instead, we conducted our first nuclear test in 2006. Ri also told the paper that unless China, Russia and the United States cooperate fully to sanction North Korea, it will be impossible to hurt the Kim dynasty. On the same day that Ri spoke, U.S. Navy Admiral Harry Harris the senior officer overseeing military operations in the Pacific, told lawmakers that Kim's ultimate goal was to reunify the Korean peninsula under his rule. I do think that he is after reunification under a single communist system. Harris told the House Armed Services Committee. So he's after what his grandfather failed to do and his father failed to do and he's on a path to achieve what he feels is his natural place, 